You ain't gonna get justice with a badge, Will Reeves. You're gonna get it with that hood. And if you wanna stay a hero, townsfolk gonna need to think one of their own's under it. Watchmen's HBO series is set in the modern day. Um, it uses a lot of the same characters as the Watchmen graphic novel did. The focus of the series is on race and how race operates in America. Oh, I'm not dubious. I'm just wondering why the actual Dr. Manhattan is wearing a Dr. Manhattan mask. I don't want to be recognized. The main character in Watchmen is Angela Avar, who's played by Regina King. Um, she also goes by the name Sister Knight, which is kind of her masked um, persona, but she also works in law enforcement during the day. There's a lot going on in this, you know, this alternate realm about what it means to be a police officer, um, what it means to serve your community, you know, whether they actually are serving their community or not, um, or whether, you know, these mask vigilantes, as they're called, are maybe better people to do that. It deals so centrally with Black identity in America. I think that makes it a really important show right now. One thing that's worth noting is that the creator is a white man. He's not Black himself. But this show, you know, they made a more concerted effort than Honest Cast shows. Um, to hire an inclusive writer's room. I would recommend um, Watchmen to people who want to maybe take a step back and kind of reevaluate the historical actions that have gotten us to where we are right now. I think a lot of us, I'm saying non-Black people, um, people who, you know, maybe don't have these types of histories in their own personal family, but who, you know, I think right now especially um, should definitely be seeking out as many different forms of Black art as they can. I don't care if I got my life, my spirit will be here tomorrow! I think anyone who's really trying to understand what people are protesting now, to understand this sort of conversation about law enforcement and its origins, I highly recommend watching Ava DuVernay's 13th. So the documentary is really about the criminalization of Black people and how that started post-slavery when the Southern economy was in ruins and it needed to be rebuilt. And one of the ways they did that was to arrest Black people who were ostensibly free for petty crimes. Black people, Black men and Black people in general, are overrepresented in news as criminals. When I say overrepresented, that means they are shown as criminals more times than is accurate. There's a really widespread misconception in this country that, you know, slavery ended in 1865 and that was just that. This documentary really highlights that it, it, it wasn't so simple and that there were ways in which slavery continued well after that. This documentary is really good for people who want to understand how far back uh, so these issues go. The reasons that people are protesting today, 13th draws a through line between those and slavery, Jim Crow, um, directly to now. I hope they realize how much Black people in this country have been through, how many legal systems were put in place to oppress Black people. And I think that's really important because if you're talking about legal systems, we're talking about your government, our government, everyone's government. As a Black person, I feel like I knew a lot about slavery, a lot about Jim Crow segregation, but I did not know the link between slavery and all of those things. I did not realize that when slavery was abolished, there were systems put in place to continue to oppress Black people in this country. And I think it's really powerful for everyone to know that.